So, have you ever seen tiny flatworms or roundworms through your naked eyes without using any kind of microscope? I guess most of you might have seen because they are usually seen in stools and vomits of infected person and are usually transmitted through contaminated food or drink or through swell and affects the intestinal tract usually. Today in this video session, we're gonna do short revision on parasitic helminthic worms and the disease caused by them, not the whole life cycle but only the revision, some part of it. About 80% of flatworms and nematodes are parasitic, that is living on the other organism and securing nourishment from it and being harsh to them, causing destruction, forgetting that they are giving them shelter. First one we have encyclostomiasis. It is a disease caused by encyclostoma duodenale, which is commonly called hookworm. Mode of transmission, fecal oral route or penetration of skin by larva. Host. So N cyclostoma are monogenetic. They have human host only. Both adult and larva are seen in human only. Symptoms iron deficiency anemia, intense itching anemia. Second one we have fasciolysis. Fasciolysis is caused by fasciola hepatica, which is commonly called liver fluke. Mode of transmission is fecal oral route or contaminated water. Primary host is sheep. Secondary host is snail and the reservoir host is man because if man gets accidentally is the infected water then they get this disease. Symptoms are destroys liver, bile duct, fatigue, loss of appetite, loss of body weight, etc. Third one we have fasciolopsiasis whose causative agent is fasciolopsis buschi or intestinal fluke. Mode of transmission, fecal oral root. Primary host is man, secondary host is snail, and symptoms are intestinal obstruction or blocks intestine. Third one, we have cytosomiasis. So its causative agent is cytosoma species, and it is a blood fluke. Mode of transmission is penetration of sarsaria larva through skin. Primary host is man, secondary host is snail, and the symptoms are urinary tract infection, blood in stool, and urine is seen. Echinococcus. Causative agent is called Echinococcus granulosus, a hydatid worm, which is also known as dog tap worm. Mode of transmission, fecal oral root, skin penetration by larva. Primary host is dog, where the sexual phase of life takes place. Secondary host is sip, where hydatid worms are found. Symptoms, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, abdominal pain, hepatomegaly of liver, Tumor of kidney, brain, and spleen. Another one we have enterobiasis. Enterobiasis is a disease caused by Enterobus vermicularis or pinworm. Mode of transmission is through fecal oral root. Host is monogenetic, human host only. Both adult and larva are found in human only. Symptoms itchy skin around anus, restlessness, irritability, and difficulty sleeping during night. Filariasis, causative agent, Wicheraria bancrofti, or roundworm. Mode of transmission, mosquito bite. So it is different here. The mode of transmission is different in filariasis. If the mosquito bites, then we get filariasis, and the mosquito of genus Aedes aegypti. Primary host, human. Secondary host, mosquito. Symptoms, lymphedema, lymphatic damage, swelling of scrotum, leg, and breast. Trichanalysis, causative agent is trichanella spiralis, mode of transmission uncooked pork meat, host, it is monogenetic, both adult and larva are found in pig striated muscles, if we eat the infected pig meat then larva will reside in the intestine of us, that means human, symptoms, chills, sweat, fever, diarrhea, etc. And another one we have ascariasis, caused by Ascaris lumbaricoids, mode of transmission, contaminated food or drink, fecal oral root, and the host is human or swine. Swine means pig. No intermediate host, only one host. Symptoms, digestive problems with severe abdominal pain and worms in vomit or stool is seen. And the last one we have taniasis, whose causative agent is tania solium, also known as pig tapeworm. Mode of transmission, ingestion of cysticercus larva, 
or cysticercy larva from undercool park meat. Symptoms Diastic problems like nausea, vomiting, severe abdominal pain, worms in the stool or vomit.